Hi, this is B Savage and welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn on your notifications so you can catch my next upload. Hope you enjoy. Today I just wanted to spend some time testing the foil gels I purchased over my short time doing nails. In the video, I try Model 1's, Verano, and McCart foil gels. So the first one I go with is Model 1. All of the foil gels are applied the same way. According to the directions, you apply the gel onto your nail, pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then place the foil directly on the nail right out of the lamp. I have seen in other videos where they state that you should wait, but according to the directions, it says that you don't have to. Here I am taking the foil, putting it directly onto the nail after it comes out of the lamp, and I push on it, I press on it, I use a silicone tool, anything I could to get that image to transfer onto the nail. I have to say I'm pretty picky about the image that I choose to put on the nail. I will go and cut out exactly what I want. I'll put pieces together if that's what I'm really looking for. Like, I don't know why I'm like this, but when it comes to picking a piece of foil that I want on a nail, I am pretty specific. So I was not so happy when this did not work i thought it was the cutest piece i was gonna get that little feather right there just a cut of that little swirly design and i was like okay this is gonna be perfect and no not at all and tried it again tried to line it up no so i think the worst part is right here where i touch my glove and the image transfers to my glove not my nail my glove so I tried it a little bit more and it just didn't end up working so I moved on and decided that I was just going to remove the image using some alcohol and then go in with the Burano foil gel so same process here I'll put the gel on the nail put the nail in the lamp for 60 seconds and then put the foil piece right on top just wanted to give you a reminder to hit that subscribe button and your notification bell. My channel is really new and I just want to make sure that everybody can catch these videos. Thank you. So one thing I did notice is with a really good foil gel, just applying the pressure around the edges, you'll begin to see the image kind of break away from the plastic. I knew as soon as I put it on there it was really sticky and the image came out really nice. I even was able to use that little piece at the top to add some little leaves up there to enhance the design. So this is what the image came out looking like and now I'm going in with the McCart foil gel. So here we use the same process we did before, 60 seconds in the light after applying the gel onto the nail and then putting that image directly on after you take it out of the lamp. I thought this was such a cute image and the colors were really cute. Like, I don't know, I just really fell in love with that little flower looking design. By the way, if you are interested, the blue color that I do have on my ring finger, I recently bought from Madam Glam during their October sale. Not sure if it's still going on, but you guys might want to check it out. This foil actually came off like effortlessly. I had to go back in just a little bit, but I thought that the last two foils were very easy to do. So I went back in on that pinky finger using the Burano gel. I think that's the one that I kind of gravitated to more. I think that the image just came off really easy. So here I am applying that foil on there after curing in the light. And literally I got the entire image. Granted, it was smaller. So I'm not sure if that actually plays a role in how the images come out, but it was perfect. So yeah love these nails thought they were super cute and had a really fun time doing them 
I'm just curious, am I the only person that looks at their nails like several times before applying top coat? Like, I feel like I gotta know exactly what I'm putting in there permanently, even if the design is not permanent after you put the top coat on. Like, you could literally just file it off. But I do feel like I'm like trying to make sure that I don't have to go back and do this whole process over again. So here's our final look. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate it. I know our video was a little shorter this week, but we'll be back. I will be posting videos every Sunday, so be on the lookout for that notification. Talk to you soon. Bye.